To ask a big picture question about that <coughs> policy shift, something that a lot of poverty scholars argue to me is that we made a very big change towards trying to support the working poor. Welfare reform was, of course, part of that. It went from, in the numbers I've seen, bringing about a million of these families out of this kind of poverty to around 300,000 in more recent years, but the expansions of the EITC, other things we've seen. Right. Do you think we do too little now to support the poor who, for whatever reason, cannot find or cannot keep a job? I do, and I know there's a big debate, and it's a, an important debate about welfare reform, because when uh, welfare reform was passed, there was uh, an expectation, certainly on my part, and I think on the part of many who had supported it, uh, that there would be uh, an expectation, in fact, uh, a requirement that states would have to uh, be contributing to the broadest possible safety net, particularly in economic downturns, so that we wouldn't help the working poor, particularly through the EITC, which I think is one of the best anti-poverty programs that we have uh, devised, we would not be doing it at the expense of the poor. We would also be uh, providing a continuing safety net for the poor. And that's one of the uh, programs that I was referring to when I said uh, after 2001, there were a lot of decisions made that basically did not carry on what had been not just the spirit, but the uh, requirements in the law because we had set the uh, the base payment at the highest possible rate and expected states to do that. So 